Hello Almighty. Today I am going to recap one of my favorites in a wonderful Kannada movie named Om. Directed by real star Upendra. Spoilers ahead watch out and enjoy. The movie begins with a journalist named Shashi interviewing and publishing the stories of Bangalore gangsters presenting the circumstances which led them to become rowdies and also she provides them a book titled Om which is written by her and she requests them to read the book. Then the scene shifts to the story in the book. Here Shashi who was interviewing about the Bangalore underworld learns about a gangster named Satyamurti Shastri alias Satya who has been forcing a college student named Madhuri aka Madhu to love him within a day and is also he is involved in oil smuggling activities with gangster named Oil Raja during night time. One night Satya meets another gangster named Ryan where he reveals that Oil Raja has hired a hitman named Kutti to kill him. Eventually Satya stabs Kutti but manages to survive despite being severely injured and also he kills Oil Raja at his mansion where his wife Maria becomes the eyewitness After being provided by an info that he will be waiting for Madhuri at her friend Geeta's house by Shashi The cops attack and tries to arrest him but he escapes while the police chases Satya but eventually he manages to escape leaving Madhu Here the story in the book shifts to the past when Shashi learns about Satya's past from Geeta that once Satya was a humble college student and the son of a Brahmin priest named Shrikantha Shastri who was leading a happy life with his mother and three sisters Sujata Sumar and Govri At his house Satya is visited by rowdy shitter named Dina's brother Ponna who wants him to stay away from Madhu whom Dina is in love with But Madhu is attracted to Satya and keeps talking to him and eventually Satya also falls in love with Madhu Dina comes to know about their love and attacks Satya in the college where Satya gets trashed badly but at one point of time during an attack on him by Dina and Ponna she instills courage to fight back and Satya hacks Dina and Ponna who survives with severe injuries But here is the twist. Madhu backstabs Satya and testifies in front of police that Satya hacked the brothers for her personal vengeance where he is tortured in police custody. But he is granted with bail by Ponna's boss Don Jeraj. Satya visits Madhu and asks her for cheating him in the name of love where he learns that she is his friend Harish's sister In a past event Satya and Harish witnessed the killing of a girl by Ponna Ponna and his gang frames Harish for the murder and threaten Satya by blackmailing that if he doesn't testify against Harish his family will be murdered Satya is reluctant but is forced to lie at the court that Harish is the murderer in front of his family Distraught Harish commits suicide in jail Subsequently, Harish's and Madhu's mother dies from shock. Hence, Madhu planned vengeance against Ponna where she used Satya as a weapon to kill Ponna while also tarnishing Satya's life. Satya is also ousted by his father Shrikantha Shastri without any other option he joins hands with Don Jeraj. Coming back to the present, Satya takes Madhu to propose to her, but here Madhu stabs Satya and escapes. However, Satya arrives at Madhu's house alive where he takes Shashi to a room and rapes her and also he threatens Madhu and her family if they reveal anything to the police but in reality he quietly asks Shashi to help him convince Madhu of his innocence. This is where the two orchestrate a drama and makes Madhu realize her mistake by understanding Satya's situation in her brother Harish's trail. Having seen Satya's family's condition, Madhu feels guilty and decides to change Satya to his past self. Meanwhile, Kutti and Ponna brainwash Ryan against Satya, leading to a gang war at the Satya sisters' wedding. But Satya executes the henchman in front of his family. When the cops arrive, Madhu takes Satya and escapes, but Satya's sister alliance is broken due to Satya's actions. Shrikantha Shastri performs a funeral, claiming that Satya is dead, which leaves Satya heartbroken. Madhu tries to console Satya where she professes her love for him and tells Satya to be his normal self. and she also tells about Ryan's involvement in the attack enraged and ignorant of Madhu Satya attacks Ryan at a restaurant but Ryan escapes later Madhu begins fasting till Satya changes his ways Satya learns about Kutti's release from prison and his involvement in the death of Jeraj and his gang members so he hacks him to death at night 
Madhu is admitted to the hospital due to fasting where Satya goes meets her, but Ryan and his henchmen also arrive at the hospital. At this point in the film, the book's ending pages are missing. So the gangsters who were reading the book contact Shashi to know about the ending. Shashi then takes them to a dhaba, where she reveals what happened at the hospital. At the hospital, Satya tells the gangsters to finish him, and he also promises Madhu that he will lead a life free from the underworld. After making the promise, Satya's leg is chopped and Madhu's face is half burned by the acid thrown by one of the goons. Ryan and the others realize that Satya has changed, so they leave him to start a new life. Here, it is revealed that Shashi brought to the same dhaba where Satya, who is a changed man is running the dhaba and leading a happy life along with his wife Madhu and his children. After seeing the happiness of Satya and his family, the gangsters realize their mistake and retire from the underworld to live a peaceful life with their families, where the movie ends with a message on peace. That's it for today's recap. Please do subscribe to my channel for more such super recaps. Thanks for watching.